back in code fights and we're looking at shape area of the intro so let's talk about what it is we're trying to do and then I actually have the whiteboard today uh, I think this is a great example of one that I personally whiteboarded out I was really conceptually having issues trying to figure it out when I first looked at it so what we're getting in is a a integer n in this case two and for each position you are then uh, adding on several cubes to each corner. So one, you get one above it, you get one, or two, you get, so you get the core piece, which is one, and then you get a piece attached to the top, to the left, to the right, to the bottom, and then it continues on, right? So uh, in this case, we have this part, and then we attach, 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 and then it keeps on continuing. And our goal here is to get the area or these cubes that are filled up. That's the goal, and you get four examples here to really sell sell home the point of this. Now I'm going to bring up the, the webcam. I'm going to go ahead and turn that down. And so let me draw, this is how I figured it out. And sometimes people say, hey, how can I solve algorithms better? I'm really struggling. This is a great one to showcase how with, with just a couple uh, colors we can fix this. So the first thing I do uh, is I start drawing out. I want to see the difference. I want to visualize the difference of of each one of these squares. So we'll have the, this will be, and we'll put a one, right? So there's our one, that's that's n is equal to one. So what changes between n is equal to one and n is equal to two? Well, we get a couple of ones on, we get a couple side chicks, I mean uh, side pieces. And then, uh, my girlfriend's gonna hate me for that joke. And so uh, uh, you see there, now we see that we're, and the reason I'm doing it different colors and numbers is because I want to actually be able to visualize, visually see the difference. Now, before we begin, uh, we can start mate. I, I typically, if there's a pattern like this, and there is some sort of pattern, I like to do three sets. Because two can be a fluke, but three usually isn't, right? Like two can be a, a use case. So we could draw some conclusions right now if we wanted to from a pattern. We say, okay, well, um, for each iteration, it's four times the previous one, right? So this is one spot, this is four. We could maybe jump to some of that, but we just still don't have enough evidence. So what we need to do is n uh, is equal to three on top of here. The way that we do that, just draw it on, draw it on. Okay, cool. So now we have a fully sort of drawn out, the light is shiny on this of course. So now we have a fully sort of drawn out. So let's try and draw some conclusions from what we're looking at. When n is equal to one, the area is one. When n is equal to two, the area is five. And when n is equal to three, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is that right? One, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight. So eight. This, so n is equal to thirteen. So we have a difference of four here. We have a difference of eight here. So uh, based off of that, we can kind of start jumping to conclusions that we're going to have a four and an eight in here. That is going. There, there's a. There's somehow a multiple of four. And now we just have to figure out in our code how we could write that. But that became very apparent once I drew that out. So I think it's a good example of how maybe you can use a whiteboard to solve an algorithm if you're, you know, you're struggling with it. And this one was one for me so that some, for some reason, I don't know if I was tired that day or what, but I didn't fully uh, get it. Now there's a couple different ways we can do this. Now that we've discussed sort of the prepping, uh, the way that I solve, I solve this stuff is like so. We have a var uh, and we set the area to initial of one. Now, the reason for for this is is because I expect to when n is equal to one, it it has a has a unique use case. Um, and for that, there's a couple of, we could do an if statement, or we could just augment the for loop that we're going to create, which is what I I I decide to do. So at the end here, we want to return the area. That's that's the goal. We want to eventually return the area. So with 
with that, all we have to do from here is we, we've already seen that for each iteration. So between n is equal to 1 and n is equal to 2, it increases by 4. And from n2 to n3, it increases by 4 on top of that, so it increases by 8. So it's a multiple of 4 added on to the current n that we are on. Now, we have a for loop. We're, again, we're starting it at 1 here and not 0. And we say, hey, while, n, while, uh, while 1 is less than the number passed in, go ahead and increase the for loop. Oop, excuse me, I meant to put this as 1. And this is i. So here's our for loop. And what we want to do here is say area plus equals, because we want to add to it, 4 times i. Because when we were on when we were on two, it added four. When we added when we were on excuse me, one less rather. So when we were on three, it added eight, and so it continues on, right? And then we add that to the area, and then finally we return and all our tests are passed. Now there's probably a couple different ways that you could write this. Um, you know, uh, there's probably a cleaner way than a for loop, but it, it's pretty basic to get going. But more than anything else, I, I think that the the it's a good example of how you can use a whiteboard to solve some of these problems. But as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share. And if you would like to and can, support me on patreon.com slash codingtutorials360. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Special thanks to our sponsors, Dev Mountain. If you're looking for a coding boot camp where tuition and housing is included, definitely check them out. Appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.